they had each of us pick out two people that inspired us. And so I wrote you a letter and I want to read it to you. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Dear Robert, I've got many heroes in my life and they've all got a few things in common. They're servant hearted. They are passionate about a cause. They love people and they do everything it seems in life without ever seeking credit. From day one of the 14 months that I was blessed to spend out at Arlington as your interim pastor, uh, from that day one, you welcomed me in and made me feel a part of not just something great, but a part of a family. You are the glue that holds our men's group together. Your heart for keeping up with all of us guys, modeling what it looks like to be in ministry to each other, and leading us men into mission to those less fortunate in our community inspires me, but not just me, all who know you. I know that many times after retirement and a distinguished career, folks often feel like their best days lay behind them, but you are a walking testimony that one's golden years can be the most valuable ones that you live and that, can, that they can make one of the greatest impacts for God's kingdom. I think you embody Hebrews 10, uh, verse 24 through 25, where it says, and let us consider how we may spur one another on to, toward love and good deeds not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Robert, thank you for being my friend, for inspiring me onto good deeds, and for showing me in a quiet and beautiful, unassuming way just what a real hero looks like. Hmm. I love you, brother. Yes. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> That was it. So thanks for showing up <laughs> and letting me tell you how you inspire me. Thank you. Yeah.